early Sunday morning. It was the first day of July, but hey, after midnight. But I hope you had a beautiful start to the second half of this year. My goodness, this song, the Lord just brought this back into my memory. He replaced the song that I had in my mind. I'll tell you, after talking to one of my friends who, uh, from childhood and going through teenage angst and you know, the adolescence and the 20 something, I started thinking about house music and I started thinking about Thousand Finger Man. Y'all don't know anything about that. And Candida, he, he was a Cuban drummer. And I was like, okay, I can't play that for devotion. And I then read Genesis 31. And in verse 49, well, we know that chapter talks about Laban's departure going back to his homeland because you know there were a lot of issues with Laban Jacob married to Leah and Rachel so he was going to try to leave in the middle of the night and not tell his father-in-law and you know there, there were just some issues and Rachel took one of the you know idols and that's the story where she sat and hid it from her father and yeah mercy and grace prevail but in verse 49 laban and jacob made a covenant and that's our this is coming back and going back to 
our childhood. I know my childhood. Blessed be the tie. I remember singing that or hearing that as a child. And the first verse, the fellowship of kindred minds. I used to think that the congregation would say too bad, but it's too that is like that to that above. But you never know what's in a child's mind. Well, in verse 49, I don't know if you had to recite this prayer. May the Lord watch between you and me while we are absent one from another. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, that was a prayer between Laban and Jacob, and they departed. And that was the last time Laban was mentioned in the Bible, and that was the last time he saw his daughter's and grandchildren and it's so funny talking about this because i was listening to a podcast and it just seemed like i don't know at least two or three of them inadvertently were talking about death it was a a doctor a, a physician who received news that he was in stage four cancer and the realization of departing this life and how he is at peace, at peace. And, you know, some people want to, you know, take mind-altering drugs. But when you have the peace of God, oh, he could take you through anything and take you to the next place. And when we would depart, it could be sweet. And knowing that all is well and we're in God's will. No matter if this is our last time, if we never see one another, may the Lord watch between you and me. Whether you go on or you stay here, whether we see each other physically or we see spiritually in another realm, God is in control. So that is peace. I don't know if, if you have some people in your life who are in the process of transitioning. Oh, Keep on reciting the word of God, especially Psalms. Read it out loud to them. Sing the, the, the hymns and words, you know, songs of affirmation that really speak to the inner man and people. And I tell you, it'll be a sweet departure. Yes, it will. And they'll be able to be girt up, ready to depart as long as they have accepted the Lord as as their personal savior because of today's date we would have gone to Psalms 131 61 91 121 yeah well we know Psalms 1 blessed is the man or woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly they're not getting crazy advice from others nor standeth in the way of sinners nope nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his or her delight is in the law of the Lord. And in this law doth he or she meditate both day and night. And because of that, they shall be like a tree. <laughs> Even though we hear rains and storm, you know, and the thunder and the lightning, mm -mm, doesn't matter. You should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth their fruit in the right season, his or her season, and their leaf shall not wither, but shall remain. And whatsoever they do shall prosper in this life and for the world to come. God, we thank you, Lord, that our full confidence is in you, whether we are absent from one another if with our common man, as far as our relatives and our friends. Oh God, we know that as long as we are in your presence, we are always full of joy and peace and comfort. So come what may, continue, Lord, to do your will in our lives, Father, and we'll continue to have the blessings of benediction forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.